In addition to voice calls, the P25 network supports a wide range of data calls. Status messages have been used in radio communications for many years, and P25 supports the use of status messages. A pre-programmed list of messages is configured in the radio units and at the dispatch console. Rather than sending a voice call to update the status of a job, a status message can be quickly sent. Status messages work well for teams that have a standard set of situation updates that have to be reported. For example, when a call out is made, they may always have to update that they have left the station, again once they are on site, and once again when the job is complete. In addition to sending status messages, the P25 standard also allows for a radio or dispatcher to query the status of another radio. P25 also supports packet data calls. Instead of the P25 radio channel carrying packets of digital voice, it can be used to carry packets of data from applications inside the radio or devices connected to the radio. A typical way of using this ability is IP packet data, where the P25 radio is given an IP address, just like a PC on a computer network. The dispatch or comm centre can then have IP connected data applications that can send and receive data to and from field units. There are a few standard applications defined that allow multiple radio manufacturers to support the same service. However, there is also scope to create a wide range of custom applications to meet the specific requirements of an organisation. One of the standard applications are location updates using GPS. Identifying where radio users are can be an essential safety feature when working in life-threatening situations. It can also be a valuable time and money saver in commercial applications. Many P25 radios available today have GPS built in, and enabling location updates may be as simple as enabling a software feature. There are a wide range of AVL, or Automatic Vehicle Location applications available. These can be chosen to suit the application, whether that be sending updates to a central comm centre, or sending a location update as part of an emergency call to a command vehicle in the field. In other videos, we discussed how encryption is an important feature of P25. One of the problems with encryption is how to update the key in a fleet of radios already deployed in the field. A small tactical team can come together at the start of an operation and load a key with a cable connected key loader. But if a fleet of hundreds of radios is to be updated, it can be very difficult to physically touch each of the radios with a key loader. Over the air rekeying or OTAR provides a secure way of sending out new encryption keys over the air. This makes it easier to implement a key management plan that requires updating of encryption keys on a regular basis, or the rapid replacement of a key if a radio has been lost or stolen. Another feature provided by some P25 radios using packet data is the ability to reprogram them over the air. Over the air reprogramming, or OTAP, is a powerful way to manage large fleets of radios. If a new group, channel or feature is added to the network, all the deployed radios can be reprogrammed remotely, rather than having to bring them into a central site or send someone out to go around all of the radios and reprogram them. There are other features provided by the P25 standard that don't require the use of packet data. One of these features is the radio check. This is a way for a dispatcher to check on the availability of a radio unit. And this can help identify if a called party is not responding because they are out of coverage, or if the call is getting through to their radio but they're still not responding. Another feature is call alert. This works similar to paging. Rather than voice calling a radio and asking if that person is available, a call alert is made. The radio beeps and displays the ID of the caller, and the person receiving the call alert can then call them back. Another powerful feature is the ability to inhibit and uninhibit the radio remotely. This can be essential if encryption is used. If a radio is lost or stolen and it has the encryption keys, someone with that radio could listen to the secure calls. The ability to inhibit that radio and receive feedback that the command was successful provides confidence that the lost radio is disabled and cannot be used to make or receive calls. If that radio is later recovered, it can be uninhibited and returned to service. This can also be useful for vehicle maintenance or the transporting of radios from place to place. The radio can be configured and ready for use, but inhibited, preventing unauthorised use until it has been received by the authorised user of that radio. Many of these features are intended to replace existing features used by public safety on analogue radio networks. This allows easy migration to P25. Other features are new enhancements that could be used to improve operations or the management of the radio network. This is not a complete list of all the P25 features, However, I hope it is a good starting point to understand how a P25 radio system could be used.